good evening dipali how are you i'm doing amazing thank you so much for asking how is everything going how are you doing i am doing great absolutely fine as it is saturday so it's a holiday for my whole family so we are at home and enjoying the day so yeah to, yeah so today we are not going to discuss relate anything related to english because we all know what we have to do for learning english yeah. so today we are going to talk about traveling so i would like to know from your point of view like do you really like traveling or not yeah to be honest i actually like traveling a lot and uh, when i was in my college and school that time i was traveling with my friends and with my family but nowadays everyone is busy at their work and it become very difficult to travel and actually i also like solo travel but family do not allow me to uh, go um, uh, outside alone and it become very difficult for me to travel so do you also like traveling yeah so my point of view is that when i was not married i always wanted to travel somewhere so that time my mom used to tell me that you can travel anywhere with your husband when you got married since <laughs> i have so much of responsibilities i'm not getting time to go out so ultimately this my traveling dream is still incomplete and as you talk about solo traveling i would love to like solo traveling but uh, i i still remember when i was in the college and when we used to go to on a like we when our college uh, announced any kind of trip which is out of our city my mom never allowed allows me to go there and uh, she did not allow me to go there and uh, but yeah uh, now with my husband at least in a year i go on a trip so so i i like traveling actually so but not getting a lot of and these lot of time so it's just yeah. once in a year and that's it yeah. what about it, you yeah it is actually the problem of our families in their families especially they uh, they always tell you that if you want to do job after marriage you can do job if you want to travel after marriage you can travel <laughs> same here as well i don't get chance to travel alone so um, i still remember that like we never like these days if i want to travel somewhere so uh, i travel with my family but not in uh, different places i like to uh, visit historical places i okay. i wish i would uh, visit i could visit um, uh, like south india as well north india east india i i, I wish i could visit uh, meghalaya uh, so okay. east india is beautiful place yeah that's amazing that's amazing so even i wanted to visit some place there are few places which are in my bucket list and whenever i will get the opportunity i will surely visit them and one of the most uh, demanding place which i really wanted to visit is kerala and this is in my bucket bucket list for a very long time and whenever i will get chance i'll go there and second um, on the second place it's like a cold place where we can see snowfall because it's my son's choice he always wanted yeah. to be on some place where he can see or experienced snow, experience snowfall uh, whenever uh, whenever he celebrate christmas he always remember that mama when will we will go to shimla i just wanted to see the snow i want to play in the snow so these yeah. are the destinations which are in my mind till now yeah and i also like i actually uh, like some different places just like uh, mountains i do not know why i am so crazy for mountains but i like greeneries a lot and even though i live in a small village so we have that satpura range because i am from amaravati so we have the chikhal dara have you ever heard about chikhal dara no it is a hill station it is beautiful place okay yeah, it is such a adaptive station as well so uh, people from different uh, countries they also visit chikhal dara so, so it is um, it is quite popular in maharashtra as a hill station okay that's amazing okay have yeah. you ever visit taj mahal uh no but vipika makbara it is in aurangabad <laughs> i have i have seen that yeah okay but not taj mahal which is in agra no uh, no i haven't seen it is an empty right? <laughs> right yeah i haven't seen uh, seen that as well and i was talking with the uh, people and they are from up <laughs> i asked them that ताजमहल 
I also very curious to visit Taj Mahal before I was like visiting it. But yeah. after visiting, I did not found it really interesting. It was like it, I I don't know why, but I don't like that place. Maybe you need you need deep heart thinking just to just before visiting that place, which I don't have. Yeah. So I yeah. really don't not enjoy visiting there. But yes, I love Akshardham Temple, which is in Delhi. So mm -hmm. it is just by my house so i have uh, that's nice. yes sorry wow that's nice i haven't heard about this uh, temple as well akshardham temple right yeah this is one of the famous temple i think it is it was recently built it's been few years when i was in the college i used to visit there a lot and recently i visited there like two to three months ago and it's really a nice place, especially in the evening. There's a music show which uh, organized by the temple, and it's really amazing. And yeah. uh, that is one of the finest places. If you will visit Delhi, Delhi, you should visit that, like Akshardham, Lotus Temple. These are the famous places in Delhi, yeah. and one should visit them. Yeah, I think Lotus Temple means there is a lots of lotus. I can imagine. I can just predict it. And uh, uh, the temple beside. <clears throat> Behind that uh, 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 rose garden, some uh, lotus garden, isn't it? Uh, actually, lotus temple is uh, um, structured in the shape of lotus. So you can, wow. the whole temple is in the shape of lotus. And when you will, it is a kind of church actually. It's not a proper like temple where we can go and do puja. It's a church. And mm -hmm. uh, it's a scenic beauty. I can say that it's very picturesque also because it's a beautiful garden around uh, that flower uh, temple. And mm -hmm. it's amazing but the problem is they don't allow us to go in the garden and we can't click pictures there and uh, there's a separate uh, boundaries which are created by the temple people and uh, authorities so we can only visit the road and we can enter the temple but we cannot touch any other things like the flowers and the greenery and the grass we cannot, we cannot visit in the garden yeah otherwise it's, it's amazing it's a nice place yeah, I I I wish I could visit there as well because I like uh, uh, like roses and a, a lots and uh, like uh, the lotus. Lotus is like uh, like you know uh, there is only pink lotus, right? There are no other lotus. Means color of lotus. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so uh, so I have never seen lotus uh, flower at my place. Uh, when I was child that time, I I have seen lotus uh, uh, that uh, lotus flower. And recently, oh. do you know Brahma pool? Brahma bull, uh, that poor, that flower rise uh, around twenty seven after twenty seven uh, years. Okay, no, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. That. and uh, some of uh, some of my family's member have uh, put as a status uh, two three days back, and okay. so uh, that flower was in Brahm, uh, Brahma pool, Brahma flower. So um, I will I will show you that flower after the session in your DM. So you know it is a beautiful and. Uh, people believe that they those are uh, very lucky that uh, they get chance to see that flower. Okay, I don't yeah. know that. Send me in the like DM once the yes, session I will be over. And yes. uh, tell me what are the places you have already visited? Yeah, how many places? I, yeah, I have visited uh, Maharashtra, like uh, specific places for Maharashtra. Shani Shingnapur, it is in Maharashtra. Uh, okay. And uh, lots of people pray Shani Singapore and uh, and they believe that they do not even have door at their uh, at, to their homes. And uh, Shani Dev is there who take care of their families and uh, no one do uh, stay no one steal anything from their home as well. And because of that, uh, when I visited that place, so everyone's home was open. They did not have any door at their, uh, their home. But I, it's been a, when I was in my school that time, but uh, I think that nowadays maybe they might uh, uh, structure their door as well. And uh, another is uh, Shegao, it is in Buldhana, um, uh, Maharashtra. Shegao, okay. have you heard about Shegao? It is Gadanan Maharaj temple. It's a big okay. temple. Yeah list i would like to visit there are a few yeah. temples that are also in my list that i would like to visit and uh, maybe once my children will grown up then i will surely go with uh, along with them so that they can also yeah. know about the beauty of these temples yeah apart from india do you have any wish to uh, you could visit different places of our, uh, of our uh, like world as well like you waste canada or something like that <laughs> Even visited the whole India. I have been only a few places like Nainital, Agra, uh -huh. Goa. Yeah, Goa. I have been there. It was an amazing place. 
एंड एंड उदयपुर अमृतसर ये अमृतसर i i can say like uh, i i i want to become a good observer as well <laughs> because i like nature a lot and because of that i am big fan of these monuments see if i talk about the structures and the construction ancient construction or structures are much more uh, durable as compared to the yes. recent one today we can see that only just one rain can vanish to all your all your construction and you know but yeah. we can see that old monuments or structures they are very very strong and sturdy you yeah. they can't break it and you know i i don't know how they built it but it's mm. already like very good yeah they have actually uh, you know converted that stone into a whole wall and different uh, structure of building so it is beautiful like uh, we always uh, if we just construct our home today uh, so our home life might be a uh, 10 years life of our, of our building but uh, they have constructed this building and it is still um, without damage and you know it is amazing and uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, seen one uh, one movie uh, job we meet i guess uh, chandni chok to china <laughs> that movie <laughs> so chandni chok means what is in chandni chok exactly Chandni Chowk is a very famous place in Delhi where you can shop for your uh, marriage. You will get all the marriage materials there, wow. like lehenga mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, everything. And it is also famous for the eating food. It's a food hub you can call, and we will get like parathas and all like different kind of var varieties are there. And it is very very famous. Like Chandni Chowk, there are many shops which are built in like nineties and still they exist. So it's yeah. been like. Fifty, fifty, or hundred, hundred years. That shop has been like making yes. same kind of food and all, and it is in their authentic way. So people mm -hmm. love to visit Chandni Chowk to have yeah. the that food and also for shopping, especially. It is yeah. Have you ever shopping? Uh, have you ever shopping from that Chandni Chowk to China? Chandni Chowk. <laughs> it is only chandni chowk yes i shop like for my marriage i bought my uh, marriage lehenga from. Uh, mm -hmm. chandni chowk and for also like my husband's sherwani it was designed by some of the owner like that is also in chandni chowk so i only it, one i visited yeah. only one so Otherwise. is it affordable uh, is it affordable chandni chowk or it is very costly because uh, it is very it popular is place and these popular places are very uh, expensive no no it's not at all expensive you will get different kinds of variety if you want your lehenga should be in 10000 rupees you will get From the ten thousand to three lakh, four lakh, five lakh, till the range of this, because you already know that today's generation is all about showing off. The more yes. expensive wearing, you thought that you are looking rich, so it's all about spending money. So you so will get all. So this kind of thing that uh, spending lots of money, or you are seeing that any lehenga is uh, uh, more costly and more costly, it will be look on me. So have you ever uh, purchased uh, dresses like that only uh, by seeing the tag of the price, price of the dress, or you watch you and uh, you have buy because you like it? How do you uh, in your shopping? Price tag first. I always see the price tag first. Even <laughs> if I'm going to buy a single T-shirt, I will check the price whether it is in my budget or not. And mm. if I see that okay, it is in my budget, I can buy. Then only I will enter the shop and explore other things. Otherwise, don't explore. Sometimes what happens when you're going in the Chandni Chowk, especially you have to tell the price. Like what are what is your price range between you're looking for the uh, product? Mm. So I tell my price range just entering after the shop, so that he will not waste his energy showing me the clothes, and then I will say, oh, oh it's not my. cup of tea i can't buy it it's so costly and also it's better that to discuss the price that this is the price range i want to buy and if you have something just show me i'll buy it otherwise do not waste yeah. the time of other person also so this is my habit and sometimes i compromise with my liking also just because of my budget because mm -hmm. i don't spend money on clothes to be honest not now earlier i used to when i was not married but after marriage i feel that i'm not spending a lot of money on clothes actually yeah, yeah. what about Uh, do you uh, do you actually uh, yeah i will i will uh, come to this point as well i will share you my opinions as well but i want to ask you some more uh, points about that you have mentioned that uh, that do you do window shopping as well like you, as you mentioned that when you visit chandni chowk so uh, and whenever you visit I uh, that window shopping online. is allowed window shopping is allowed there or not window shopping you can not do because these are the shops which are filled with the lots of lehengas or materials and heavy work materials you will get heavy sarees 
so it's not possible for them to hang all those sari in the window and they can not people can watch them because the area where these shops are located it was it is really congested it's like mm -hmm. very narrow lane and uh, it's very crowdy also because most of the people when they're getting married they once in a while at least they go for shop just to check out what are the trends going in the market and all but you have to enter the shop at least for the window shopping also they are the people they will open each uh, article and then they will show you mm -hmm. and as you asked me that uh, how do i shop and uh, how much uh, like money i spend on my shopping so to be honest i like shopping a lot but uh, i uh, only shop if i need like if there is a function that time only i shop and i do shopping otherwise i do not do shopping i also think that uh, instead of spending money on clothes why you are not saving your money why you are not uh, uh, making your fixed deposit and uh, you can uh, get a good amount of interest on your savings as well so I always focus on savings instead of expense so i am trying to make some little bit of savings as well it is good habit <laughs> it's a good yeah. habit it's really a great habit you know what what i feel is that my thinking is that if i'm not going out of the house so i really do not need good clothes this is my perception so earlier when i used to go to job i used to shop a lot and i i tried to wear different clothes every day so that i should look good because ultimately your personality matters but since i am at home i don't need to go out i am just you know not very curious to buy anything new i am okay whatever i have because i have to stay at home no one is going to watch me even sometimes i do not even care posting my videos uh, on youtube even at, like right now i'm sitting in my t-shirt and pajamas and i'm creating this video i'm not changing my clothes so i thought of okay people do not interested in your clothes mm. that much if going out then it matters but if you're sitting at home no one really cares what you're doing at your home yeah and um, do you actually believe that first impression is last impression i do believe in that <laughs> but um, uh, sometime uh, like i have more interesting uh, question to uh, question to uh, you here when we uh, uh, when you face interview that time uh, sometime you are nervous and because of that maybe you are even you are a deserving candidate you lost such opportunity because uh, you uh, you might turn hesitant to express your thoughts because of that you are not getting that opportunity and don't you think that it is uh, quite unfair to uh, like judging people at very uh, first moment it just like don't judge book by their cover so uh, like i always compare this with like this <laughs> so please correct See, me here Okay, yeah. I would like to answer in a proper way. People say that do not judge book by its cover, but mm -hmm. this is what people actually do. People always judge the book by its, book by its cover only, and that is yeah. why first appearance and it is important. And in the interview, you are not getting only one opportunity. If you will face any corporate interview, you have to face a uh, three or four rounds separately. Yeah. so maybe you are not good at communication maybe you good at writing maybe you are not good at answering but you are good at typing your typing speed is really good so you are really good at something every person is not having everything for example yeah. i am good at communication maybe you are the good listeners maybe you have a great ideas i do not have that much yeah. great idea so every person is different so the judges or the interviewer who are sitting and taking interviews they are mm -hmm. they are judging you not only basis of your communication but they see whole performance like how are you in everything the first step is the normal conversation and you i think uh, i have given my last interview few years back and that time it was like uh, compulsory to uh, uh, first round is like, like the telephonic uh, round just to check whether how you communicate with the other people on telephone so this is also one of the round which are in the companies since i am uh, not facing a lot of interviews so i have no knowledge about that since like i am having my own firm so i am taking interviews yeah. rather than i am giving so already so, a successful advocate here <laughs> <laughs> no i am just you know i'm still struggling it's not really a big firm it's a small uh, venture so i'm trying hard to make it on a large level but you are doing something different than everyone it, it matters and we we actually need to do those things which interest us so no matter uh, how we like what people says and it is all about your interest so you are doing amazing yes. i appreciate your work <laughs> yes yes that's why i'm enjoying my work a lot yeah 
it is amazing that's what we need to do otherwise we are not satisfied with one thing we always struggle like okay i am doing this but i am not satisfied with my work why we why we feel like that because we choose our profession only because of sake of to impress people okay i am doing this because uh, this is prestigious job but even though you are not enjoying the it do you actually need to uh, find your own interest and hobbies and if it is interest you then uh, even in any job or uh, people think that it is not good and if you are enjoying it you can make it uh, you know great opportunity yes i have heard few comments about me that i am since i am a youtuber people say that uh, what is the benefit of uh, taking phone holding in your hands and you know uh, recording shooting this is just rubbish it's not a good work so mm -hmm. i i do not want to reply to those people but i really feel that it this is something i'm doing with my interest i feel very yeah. enthusiastic even if i'm tired i am okay to shoot a video i don't feel anything like that but if you are into a job which is not of your interest you may feel tired even after working 2 to 3 hours in a day but for youtube even if even after i'm spending 5 hours or 6 hours editing a video recording a video i don't feel tired and that yeah. is something every person should have and every person should choose their job according to their interest and that yeah. matters a lot and i think that like uh, we should not uh, also uh, uh, affect by this comments as well because the people are there who are not doing anything and they are only uh, giving you destructive destructive feedbacks and definitely uh, they actually uh, like waste their energies to um, pulling putting someone down it is not good at all so yeah we must keep doing whatever we are doing and because i have seen your comments as well uh, on your comment section people actually are getting help from your videos and you are doing great job dear and and that's matter a lot even videos are actually helping people and uh, whenever i connect with people so uh, like if they are your viewers so they also tell me about you as well that karishma ma'am is doing great and uh, when we talk with her then we uh, feel confident speaker as well and uh, these youtubers are actually are uh, helping us to improve our communication as well when they connect with me definitely they also mention some youtubers name as well so if it is not and productive then they can't give this comment as well right Uh, that is absolutely true and yeah. that all my motivation is people do comment me that ma'am we are learning from your videos and that one, one single message uh, can boost me to create another video and that is really helpful for me to work like this yeah. so we started from travel we end up <laughs> talking <laughs> something else yes it is oh my god communication and conversation and uh, then uh, we actually discuss lots of things it is not about okay we are only talking about particular topic so uh, we engage with different topics and that matters a lot right yeah that is what engagement we are talking yeah yeah you are audible perfectly data has exhausted <laughs> because of that i thought that i am not visible audible <laughs> and no i think that is the beauty of connecting with the real people the moment you start having conversation you don't even realize that you start from where and end from like another point and when yeah. you are listening only or uh, using another practice method you may not improve that much the moment you connect with the real people so that's yeah. why it says like you should always start your practicing and you should speak with the real people instead of uh, like talking to yourself talking in front of the mirror they can also give you some help but the there's a limit you can not you can not correction as well and you will not feel and you are using the same vocabulary and it will not create different situation as well like, like right now we talk on different topic and if if i am the one and who is talking in front of me then yes. there is only one way communication and i will not get um, the, that that a speech you have given right so i did not learn uh, from you that uh, that lot you have i have learned lots of things from you uh, because of this uh, two way communication then i will not uh, learn all these things from one way communication just like uh, mirror uh, practice and uh, video uh, uh, recording practice yeah for the beginners it is good that you should start with something the people who are actually not able to speak anything they should start with self talking mirror talking talking yeah. in front of the camera but after some time after a certain period of practice you should yeah. switch <laughs> this mode and talk to the real yeah. people that's important if you really want to yeah. speak in real life you should connect with the real people that's important yeah. and again it's a lovely conversation i think is already like time is over we are running out of the time Yeah. So thank you so much Dear, for accepting my request, and uh, I have actually exhausted my data as well. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you so much for being here on my channel. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. Have a nice day. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye.